Netflix seems to not be learning still to this day, and you're probably asking, what have they done now? Well, let's just say that they are not even listening to their own filmmakers and actors now on what they should be doing to run an effective business, but also give moviegoers an awesome time with their films. Keep watching the video and I'm going to break down what exactly the problem is that Netflix still is not learning from with regards to their business model and how it affects the movies we consume. This news is actually not as recent as you think it is. It's been stemming for over the last several years, even going back into the COVID years. The basic gist of the news is this. Filmmakers and even actors are now calling out Netflix for their insanely bad business model for how they handle movie distribution. This comes off the revelation that the director Greta Gerwig and the actor Daniel Craig are not happy with how Netflix is handling two insanely important Netflix properties that both Craig and Greta are starring in and directing. Another question you're probably asking is, why are they complaining and how does it affect them? It affects them in a way that shows their care for the business and that they believe with the quality that they bring in their different film professions that the movies that they make deserve to be made on the big screen before they go on streaming to Netflix. That word before seemingly is not in Netflix's vocabulary at all with this kind of thing. They believe that because they run a streaming business that their movies must only go to streaming. They fail to realize that financially speaking and for the sake of the audience that they make these films for, it is not giving anybody the best experience, including them. If Netflix as a company really cared to find another revenue of making money, they would implement the strategy that both Greta and Craig believe in along with so many different fans around who agree with them. Netflix is leaving not only so much money on the table for the strategy to be implemented, but they for some reason don't realize how smart it actually is. They for some reason don't realize that they still will get the movie in streaming eventually. All they have to do is apply their movies to the 45-day theatrical window that is currently in place and then once it's out of that 45-day theatrical window in theaters, they can then exclusively allow the movie to go only to Netflix to stream. You make money in theaters and you also then get to keep it for yourself on your own streaming platform where you could then make new subscribers to subscribe to watch those films. The next point that we have to bring up is the evidence as to why these two specific filmmakers are the ones of the recent timeline of this conversation are of bigger importance. Greta Gerwig is probably the most important of the two, not only because she is a director, but she is also currently handling one of Netflix's biggest properties that they will have ever adapted in the Chronicles of Narnia franchise. Greta is coming off a recent global success of making one of the all-time highest grossing movies ever with Barbie. Netflix sought her out for what she would do as her next project, and she landed on wanting to make Chronicles of Narnia for another adaptation of the book series with them. What Netflix is preventing her from doing is is taking her movies to the theaters first. She recently came out and said that she is asking Netflix for an IMAX theatrical distribution, which makes a lot of sense with how big in scale these movies will be, and you'll have to put them on IMAX theaters to get the best performance and quality out of it. If done well, these movies could be missed out for a good opportunity to see in theaters. Greta is a very good filmmaker, and wasting her talents like this is not the best move business-wise, especially with that property. When it comes to Daniel Craig, it is a little smaller, but also still understandable. He's the main lead of another one of Netflix's biggest properties in the Knives Out series of films as the famed detective Benoit Blanc. The first movie in the series did not get theatrical distribution, but the second one did and actually made a decent chunk of change for what they did actually do with it. It seems like they are not planning to do it for the third film, which is coming out sometime next year. Yes, the first movie was discovered through the streaming angle of it all, but it could become even bigger if they had gotten that theatrical distribution where again they would go to theaters for 45 days and then exclusively come back to Netflix before they own it. No other streaming service would get it and this plays into the incentivized competition they have with other streaming services. It's no different than if you give an example to something like The Batman under Warner Brothers where after that movie went out of theaters it went straight to HBO Max. Netflix is missing out on a great deal with these two very big problems properties that they own now with the recognition that they have gotten over the years and the filmmakers and actors that they have under them. It's a topic of conversation that we will definitely keep having for the future as
as this also stems more now to the fan side of it all. Netflix also currently owns another series called Peaky Blinders. I recently watched the entire show for the first time and I loved it. I understand where everyone is coming from when they say it's one of the best TV series in history. They are currently in the process of making a new movie that will also exclusively go to Netflix and not in theaters when it first comes out. No filmmakers and actors have come out about that strategy yet that are working on the film, but the fans are definitely very vocal about wanting this to go to theaters. Anytime I go into some comment thread about some behind the scenes photo that comes out about the movie, I always see fans chiming in that the movie deserves to go to theaters first. From the perspective of this property, it makes more sense that way because the fans of all people would want that more because it has become more popular for them to want to see it that way. Based on all the behind the scenes that I've seen so far of the film, it looks like it could be another promising continuation to the story with the way the final season of that show ended off. I think it's pretty fair that it gives a chance to be seen in theaters first before we can all enjoy it for ourselves on streaming. So at the end of the day, the other big question we have to ask, at least with regards to my conversation around this, is asking why this video was important to make in the first place. Simply put, I think Netflix is a company that does not care as much for the theatrical business in a way that they probably should from the perspective of the filmmakers they work with and the fans that they have that watch their service. I may have Netflix as a service myself, but I have been very hypercritical about how they run their business from the perspective of this conversation we are having today, but even their marketing department, which seems non-existent. I'm a marketing guy. I studied this stuff for school and in college. I think from that angle, they are missing out on a big opportunity to get people to want to subscribe to their service even more by not putting movies in theaters first. It's the reason why Greta Gerwig and Daniel Craig came out recently to speak on it, and it is also why I am here making a video covering it because it's an important topic for not just the film industry, but also someone like me who may want to see some of the good films Netflix makes be put in that theatrical business that I love so much. So there you have it. That's my commentary about this recent Netflix news. What do you all think? Leave your comments down below on what you think about my commentary of it, and let's have a nice and respectful conversation. Thank you for stopping by my channel. If you want to see more moving forward from me with regards to film and television, and you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you are new here and turn on that notification bell. I'm trying to build a community on here, and your support would be greatly appreciated. That's a wrap, folks. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you all soon for the next video.